Alright, it's that time of the year again. Procreate has officially started teasing another version of their app and people have been making a lot of speculations about it. So this video is sort of a recap of everything we know so far. Now first off, the name that's pretty clear, uh, Procreate 5X. Not much debate going on here because that's what they're literally promoting. But um, we can also tell by the name that it's probably not going to be a major update. If you remember last year, we had the Procreate 5 update, which was a huge jump from Procreate 4, a ton of new features. But I think this year we can see Procreate 5X as more like a refinement of Procreate 5. Now next we have the features. Uh, this one's pure speculation. Actually not quite because we are seeing more and more videos floating around the web that may hint to certain areas that are going to see improvements. The first one being a snap to grid or alignments feature. You know how there's already the magnetics feature in the freeform section that lets you snap into places? I just think this will be an improvement where you can actually find the center as shown in the preview. Minor detail but also important detail, especially if you're using a lot of text. Then we have improvements and animations. While Procreate is definitely still an illustration app, it's kind of hard to deny how much popularity it gained through the introduction of Animation Assist last year. And Procreate is not blind. I mean, they see that and they're aware of it. So just from a pure business perspective to expand on that area is a pretty solid move. Now, I'm not an animator. I mostly do calligraphy, uh, so I can't really say much about it. But I'm sure a lot of people who are in this animation field um, are going to have lots of fun testing and exploring. Speaking of animations, I think we might even see more subtle animations in some of the UI elements, such as uh, the brush tool icon. It's obviously hard to tell just by looking at this post, but I don't know. I just think a few visual changes uh, will be a great addition to this update or any update, period. Then we have the glitch slider. High chance it's going to be in the filter section right next to Gaussian blur and all the other sliders. And I think this video is as real as it gets. But I'm kind of afraid this is going to be one of those features you show off once and never use it again. But we'll see. And then last but not least, we have a new hand gesture to quickly move between layers. It's like quick menu, but for layers and it seems super practical. Switching around layers is something we use all the time and having a dedicated gesture for that will also, I think, save you a ton of swipes. Sup, this is editing DK from the future here and um, I just found out that this feature already exists and it's called layer select. Um, so yeah, apologies if you already knew about it. If not, you're welcome. Yeah, hands down, that's the feature I'm most excited for at the moment. So yeah, price. It's very likely going to be free. Uh, just like any other update, Procreate has been known to push out free updates no matter how big they are. And considering that Procreate 5 has also been free, this one's also not probably not going to cost anything, which is great and which we shouldn't take for granted. I still wish they had a donation button so that people who want to support them can still support them, but yeah, for now it's just a thought. Release date. Looking at last year's Procreate 5 release, I think it's going to be around November or December again. Uh, and I'm trying to be more optimistic here, but they started teasing in September 2019, but the official launch, the official release was not until December. So as much as I had to say it, we're still a couple months away. So for now, the only thing we can do is wait and be patient. Well, technically we could continue to speculate whenever Procreate drops more hints. Uh, if they do, I'm going to be sharing them over on my Instagram, at CalligraphyDK, and once they open up the beta, I will try to cover as much as I can. So don't forget to subscribe because the beta season is right around the corner. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments which features you're most looking forward to, and I will see you guys in my next video.